What brings you back uh, time and time again to Ethiopia? Um, I was born and raised here. I only left when I was 23. But uh, I went there for a couple of years uh, for a graduate degree. And then uh, the political situation changed and I couldn't come back. So I, I stayed in the, in the US. So what changed? Why, why do you come back now? It's been 40 years. A lot has, that has, has happened. And over the last 10 years, I've been coming back, uh, back and forth. And I brought my family to show them the country and visit with the relatives and all that. And uh, I, old flames never die. So I felt uh, the need to come back and, and possibly make a contribution in the country. You see business opportunities here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Can you tell us uh, something about that? Well, I'm. I'm uh, all my life, I've been in agriculture. Even in California, for the last 35 years, I've been in agriculture. So, my desire is to, to start a, a farming operation here, uh, both conventional and uh, organic operation. We already launched that. We've had some trials done, and and uh, we like what the products were. And uh, now, maybe next week, we'll be receiving some land from the government and uh, we'll be all fully operational by the end of the year. And can you tell us about the, the size of this operation and, and for who, uh, who are you selling the, the products to? We've got uh, products uh, lined up for Spain and Germany. And we're working on the Middle East at the moment and uh, possibly the Sudan. Uh, we've got two operations we've lined up. One is in the north, near Lake Tana, and then another one in the south, in, uh, near, uh, near uh, uh, Soderi. I don't know if you know Soderi, but, but it's in the Oash Valley, in the Oash Valley. What is the biggest challenge for your business moving forward? Initially, acquiring the land is the biggest challenge. It took uh, a year and a half to finally be able to, to get to see our, our name on, on the plot of land. And uh, two weeks ago, we were given that plot of land, and we went to see it and uh, met with the people, local people, and, and uh, we're excited now. We, we, we can see that things will happen uh, in that regard. We have uh, 10,000 members in 159 countries. What would be your message to the international investment community looking at Africa's growth story in Ethiopia, the agriculture uh, sector specifically? Well, it's tremendous potential for agriculture in Ethiopia. And I, I just recently came back from Zambia. Even in Zambia as well, there's tremendous opportunities for agriculture. I assume Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, all Eastern African countries also have good opportunities uh, for agriculture. Ethiopia is particularly because uh, there's a land mass that's available for, for uh, commercial farming. And uh, that land mass is being allocated to foreign investors or even returning, returning investors, Ethiopian uh, investors as well. So the opportunity for, for crop production, livestock production, uh, even coffee and tea uh, and fruit trees exists. And, and you have to come and see it before you can believe uh, what's achievable.